Hey everyone, this is Crypto Weeble here, and today I'm going to show you guys a step by step tutorial on how to buy and sell coins on the CoinMarketCap website. Okay, because recently I've been showing people different strategies on how to train, uh, trade recently added coins on CoinMarketCap for massive gains, but people aren't, uh, don't understand, uh, you know, have difficulties to buy and sell a coin. So I'm just going to show you an easy tutorial on how to do that. It's actually really simple. So the first thing you want to do is to download the Trust Wallet app, okay? So it just it should look just like this. Once you download it, uh, at first it's going to ask you to create an account and it's going to give you a recovery phrase. And then once that's done, it should just look like this. So the first thing you want to do is to actually buy some Binance coin, okay? Because basically you would need some Binance coin to buy um, and swap into the different uh, coin market cap listings, okay? Because if you want to buy coins on coin market cap, you mostly need uh, some BNB, okay, which is Binance coin. So, how do you actually buy some BNB from the Trust Wallet app? You just click on the buy button here and click where over here it says BNB. So, click on it. And you have two uh, third party providers, either Simplex or MoonPay, that you can pay directly from the app and enter the amount you want to pay. Um, so it's really fast and instant. The only problem a lot of people have been having uh, using this way of buying Binance coin on the Trust Wallet app is because there's a lot of fees. So if you don't like to pay a lot of fees and want an other alternative, uh, the other alternative is to buy some BNB and send it to your Trust Wallet with the um, Binance exchange. So you would need to download the Binance app, okay? and go it's gonna the menu is gonna be like this so just click on the wallets tab on the bottom right and then it's gonna bring you here so what you want to do is to scroll down until you see bnb so we're in the b's right now so here bnb and then click on withdraw and then it says address so what you want to do is to go back to trust wallet click on bnb click on receive copy your um bnb address on trust wallet and paste it over here okay and network make sure it's uh binance chain memo uh there's no memo uh, required okay so you just leave that blank and then the amount you want to put okay so for example if you have one bnb on your binance account you would do one bnb and click on withdraw and within 30 minutes it should arrive here and you should see some bnb appear on your trust wallet app Next thing you want to do is to uh, click on swap and swap into smart chain, okay? And then you enter the amount you want. If you want 50% of your balance of BNB into Binance Smart Chain, uh, just do that. And it, it should appear here, okay? And basically, like I said, you, you would need to convert your BNB into Binance Smart Chain because Binance Smart Chain is the currency you need to convert into uh, new coin market cap listings, okay? So once that's done and the hard part is pretty much done okay the rest is actually really really easy so next thing you want to do is you want to go on the coin market cap website okay so for example let's say you want to buy this coin most recently added one uh lovelace world okay so you'd click on it and if you scroll down over here where it says contracts okay you see there's two little square squares over here on the right so you want to click on this and this is going to copy the contract address of this token so then what you want to do is to open a new tab and go on a website called pancakeswap.finance. Now what you want to go is uh, click on the bottom left on uh, where it says trade and then connect your wallet. Okay, so in our case, it's trust wallet. So click on trust wallet and it's automatically going to your balance of Binance uh, BNB is going to appear here because, you know, uh, you connected your trust wallet. So right now, let's say you want to buy some Lovelace, you would just need to click over here where it says select the currency and just paste the address you just copied from CoinMarketCap. And as you can see, it detects the coin, you import it by clicking on it. And as you can see, it's imported. OK, so basically now what you want to do if you want to buy some Lace uh, token, you just, for example, type uh, that you want uh, to buy 0.10 BNB worth um of bnb to buy some lace okay and then it's gonna show you you know for example uh if i do 0 0.10 
as you can see okay lagged a bit there but as you can see if i would buy for 0 0.10 bnb it would give me 29.80 lace okay now make sure especially if it's your first time using pancake swap make sure to go on the settings tab and put 12 percent as a slippage tolerance okay because by default it's going to be at 0 0.5 usually so you want to put at 12 because most of the time you need at least a 12 percent slippage tolerant for a transaction to go through okay or else it gives you an error so then once that's done you just click on swap confirm swap and it's going to give you the details of the transaction so as you can see i would have a total of 76.34 dollars if i want to buy this for 0 0.10 bnb because i have a network fee of 67 cents so if you want to buy it you just click on the confirm button and yeah that's how you buy a coin now if you're ready to actually sell it it's really simple you just need to go back to pancakeswap.finance click on the arrow over here and as you can see it's just going to now go from lace to bnb so if i want to sell for example uh all my lace uh, i think it would give me like 29 or something right now i would get 0 0.09 bnb back okay and make sure once again your slippage runs at 12% for it to work. If it gives you an error message, just put it um, up every time, okay? Because uh, at one point it's gonna work. So if it doesn't work at 12, try 14. If it doesn't, if it gives you an error at 14, put at 17. And usually up to 20, you know, that's usually the max I see on most of the coins, okay? But basically, once that's done, you would click on the swap button once again to sell it, confirm the swap, and you're gonna get your BNB back. So that's how you buy and sell tokens on coinmarketcap.com. So hopefully you enjoyed, guys. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, make sure to let me know if you're still having problems. I'll be free to answer to you guys in the comment section. All right. Bye-bye.